guys, so I am going to do a 4th of July look. And I'm going to be using um, pigments for this, which are on sale this month. So you can get six, six pigments for $59 plus a liner shader brush, which I can never seem to find that brush. Oh, right here. So this is the brush you would get for free with the... Um, kudos this month so I'm going to start with pristine eyeliner let me sharpen it okay so I'm just gonna t oh this is from Parker okay so I'm gonna take this and put it on the inner part of my lid Hi Ashlyn, hi Jonna. So I'm going to be putting a pigment over top of this. So these pigments are like one of my favorite um, products, which this month they will be gone forever. So once they um, sell out of a color, they'll be gone. Hi Katie, hi Nicole, I think I already said hi. Okay, so for the blue pigment I'm going to be using Awestruck and I'm going to <clears throat> put some of this in the lid. And then I'm going to take some rose water, which is a toning spray. And this will just help like the pigments stand out more since they are a shimmer. And I'm just going to mix that up. And then I'm going to put this on the outer part. Hi Heidi. And then I'm going to keep it kind of like a straight line, but then we'll blend once I get the other color on. Of 
course my dog is going to snore. Now this is going to be like a little bit dramatic, but it's going to be fun. Okay, so then I am going to do the same thing. That has like more of like a yellow tone to it. So I'm going to use Curious, which is another shimmer. I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to take the Deluxe brush. And do the same thing, but put it where I put the white. So the pigments, they have, um, I forget how many shades there are, but I believe like six or so are already sold out. So you won't be disappointed with these pigments. I love them. But once they sell out, they're gone. There's so many to choose from. They have um, matte ones. They have shimmer ones. I, I have them all with red. I am actually going to use a um, lip liner and I'm going to do the um, below the waterline. And if you um, see my my makeup photos, I use these pigments in almost all of them. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just blend this just a little bit. But I still want to keep... Um, them separate. Good lord, dog. Snore so loud. And I'm just going to go back with the blue.
I'm gonna try to blend out this blue just a little bit to find my crease brush. There it is. Okay, so I am just going to take just a tad bit of the blue and just kind of just soften that edge up a little bit. These are. Oh, jeez. Okay. So the two pigments that I used are Awestruck, which is a gorgeous blue color, and then this iridescent. Um, it has like a purple shift to it. This is curious. Okay, then I'm going to take the white eyeliner and I'm just going to sharpen it just, just because. And then I'm actually going to do a winged eyeliner first. So this is the liquid liner and it's like a felt tip. Let's see if I can do this. I hate wing dye liner. I can't talk during this or I'll definitely mess it up. This one's a little bit more curved. It's good enough. Then I'm going to take the white eyeliner and do my waterline, which I was going through pictures. I was looking for one of a picture I have of Parker in this blow up swimming pool that I could post for sale. And I clicked on some of my makeup photos <coughs> and I saw that I used white eyeliner before. Well, I knew I did white eyeliner before, but, um, I just did it for fun, but then I started like seeing other people do it for um, like to make your eyes like brighter, more awake. So I thought that was pretty cool. So if you don't own a white eyeliner, I would definitely say get yourself one.
Like, see how, like, bright that makes your eyes? And then once you complete the eyes, it, like, makes it so much better. Okay, so the red I'm going to use is called Primal, which is a lip liner. And I'm just going to go right underneath. And what's nice about these um, lip liners and eyeliners, they're like interchangeable. I used the brown eyeliner as a lip pencil one time, just to get more of like a brown look. Okay, that's a little too like straight on, so I'm going to smudge it out a little bit. Clean that up. Okay, so I'm just going to have to wipe. Usually with, um, when I use makeup wipe to like clean up my makeup, I usually cut the makeup wipe. That way I'm not wasting a whole wipe just for one little thing. Okay, so... Just going to clean up if I can get it off. Hi Paige. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to find some random brush. This one, I guess. And I'm just going to like kind of Smudge it a little bit. If it goes anywhere because they're smudge proof. <laughs> this I'll just have to push really hard. You know what I'll do? Here we have a blush. And it's like bright orange. Um, I'm going to use some of that. Hi Jennifer. Not making much of a difference, but now I've got to do it to the other eye. Plus, it's too orange. Oh crap, i got to go pull chicken out of the oven. Hang on. I always forget about the chicken. Alright, so... I think I need to add a little bit of blue right there. And then we'll move on to mascara. Okay. 
Hi, Sharon. Now, the 3D mascara, which I absolutely love it. And what I like about this eyeliner is it's going to stay put only because it's waterproof and smudge proof. That's why I wasn't able to smudge it. So this is the gel. And we're going to go um, two coats this time only because I want extra. Hi, Bridget. Are you going to do your makeup for 4th of July, Bridget? So you can do as many coats as you want as long as you are starting and ending with the gel. Okay, and then we're going to do the other eye. And there's, there's like no weird smells to this mascara. And the fibers are natural, so if you do get them in your eye, um, I mean it's no fun, but just like blink it out and if you do a good um, gel coat then you should be good and you can also wear the gel just on its own too hi Lauren So I do have a red, I think I do, I think I have a red lipstick, red um, liquid lipstick, but I am not a red person, a red lip girl, so I'm not sure what I'll do. Okay, so I'm going to go with another coat of gel, and then fibers, and then gel, just because I want some crazy lashes. And then last month, um, there was free shipping on the liquid foundation, which if you missed out on that, that's a bummer. It's my favorite foundation. Oh shoot, did I do, no I didn't do fibers again. You want to put the fibers on while the gel is still whoop, wet. So, if 
you are on here and or if you're jumping on replay, share the video if you want. Okay, last coat. These ones look so much better. Like this stuff is amazing. Okay, so that's it for that. I'm gonna brush off those fibers. Oh, I forgot to do the bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do my brows real quick. Get all those brushes out of the way. I do need to um, pluck them, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But I do have this shaver, and this is I use this for the top, and if I'm too lazy to do the middle. So, basically, I just go like this. And if you have like a um, like an arch right there, you don't want to shave that off. Or pluck it. That'll that'll help give the arch. Which I'm too lazy to do the middle, so we'll just do this. I do. Um, I pluck these ones under here because I don't like using this. I think I'm gonna do um, BB cream today. Hi Judy, hi Brooke. Um, with the loose foundation. Okay, so. That is that. I'm going to use palette 5 and put a little bit of this in the inner corner. Um, Brilliant, which is a silver. And then blend a little bit up. Oh, and I'm going to use some of that for my brow bone. And I never did this before, but I'm going to use um, Curious as a highlight. Only because I used it um, for um, the eyeshadow. I think it would be fun to do it as a highlight. Then I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use um, the brow palette. Which, if you ever wonder, which I kind of just recently um, discovered this. But this is for like the outer part. And then this is for the inner. Okay, so we use this for the blue. And then on the other end is a liner brush. 
which I do have a, I have a brow brush, which I'm going to use that, but you can definitely use this because I've done it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows, which doing your brows make like such a difference. Let me know if you guys do your brows because I cannot do my makeup now without doing my brows. Thanks, Judy. I believe her name is Kayla. I watched a live video last night, and this is what she did. And I tried... Yeah, I I can go with my brows. Like, they're fine to me. Um, but I think it makes such a difference. And I did um, some wedding makeup, and there was blonde, brunette, and red. And I did all three of their brows, and holy cow, what a difference. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side while I have the dark on the brush. I it's hot in here. I need to pluck a few of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't mind my brows. But I feel like doing them, I gotta do something with that. Um, but I feel like it just comes together when I do them. Hi, Danielle. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the light color and do some shaping on the inner part and it will blend in with the darker color and just like it helps make your brows like don't look like they're drawn on because that was my issue which I need a little bit right there Oh jeez, do this all fly. I feel like that one arches more. So, we'll give this one a little bit more of an arch. I think. That looks a little bit better. Leroy's out walking Parker so he can nap. Okay, that one's definitely easier than that one. Okay, so that's it for that. More bolder looking when you fill them in. Um, I've actually done them bolder because I didn't know how to do my brows. I would take literally the brown like the darker color and just like plaster it on okay so I'm going to do the BB cream which is a tinted moisturizer well complexion enhancer but it's really good um, for like light okay this is way too light but the um, the loose powder will help that and it blends in so it's not much lighter so if you have dry skin this is definitely a must and then you could top it off with the press powder in your color Oops, smeared some of that. 
No, I'm not doing my nails. I wish. They're really, like, crappy right now. Like, really crappy. I usually wait till, like, well, when my nail polish comes off. Or when they're really nice. Right now, they're just, like, breaking and I've been banging them off stuff. Okay, so you can walk out the door like this with this. Or you can top it with a press powder, the loose powder. You can even do the setting powder. You can even put the liquid foundation over top. Which I'm almost out. I'm waiting for a darker color to come in. The loose foundation, where is it? Right here. So this is the Touch Mineral Loose Powder Foundation, and I'm going to take this concealer brush, well powder concealer brush, and I use this end, and then I'm just going to put this all over. So it definitely um, gives it a darker color. And then I'm going to set it with the setting powder only because it's really hot outside. And then I also have a setting spray. What's it good? Um, I have no idea. Okay, then the setting powder. Okay, so then for um, bronzer, I'm going to use Hermosa, which is a medium shade. Going to take the blusher brush, if I can find it. Right here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do red lips, but I don't think I'm going to wear it um, to the park. That's where I'm, we're going later. Blend it. Do a little bit on the forehead.
down the side of my nose. So I just squeeze the brush. below my bottom lip that will give your lips like a pouty appearance jawline okay, I'm just going to take this powder puff and really blend that hi Jessica I'm Megan if I didn't say hi already. Okay. I'm gonna look for a reddish blush. Oh, that one's pink. We might use this one. So if you missed the eyes, um, you can watch the replay. It's so hard to put away makeup. Okay, so I think we're going to go with the pink. But the very light. Like that's probably going to be enough. Maybe a little more. Just gives it a little bit of color. Okay. Then I'm just gonna blend that out with the brush. Oh, this brush is so nice. Okay, now for the highlight, which I'm excited to try because it is, yeah, you can sort of see it. I don't want to go too crazy with the blush because I might go crazy. Okay, so for the highlighter, I'm going to use a pigment. <coughs> Jessica, you'll have to send me a picture or tag me. So this is Curious, which is like an iridescent color. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just going to put the extra that's on the brush right here. I'm actually kind of excited. I thought I was going to look like a clown. You know how when you get those ideas and you gotta do it and then it's like, what? Or if you go to like do a smoky look and turn out to look like a panda. I've done that. Okay, so on my nose and then my cupid bill. So it's more of like, almost like a natural glow. Well, I mean, you can see the shift of the color purple, but it's like not crazy. Okay. I need like a makeup assistant to like put away my makeup as I go. Okay, so let me look. Let's see if I have a red. 
Okay, so I think this is going to be red enough. Oh, I can use the red lip liner. Take pics. Oh, I always do. Okay, so I'm going to use um, Primal, which is a red lip liner, which I love lip liner. Now, Kayla, the girl that did this look, um, I think her top lip was blue, I think, and the bottom was like red and white stripes, but I'm not that crazy today. Catch me at like 9 o'clock at night when I do my makeup, which is rare anymore, but. Who knows, I might turn out to like it. Okay, then I'm just gonna fill it in. Ooh, I have an idea. This looks more orange, I think. On the camera. Hi, Kathy. So if you're just jumping on, watch the replay so you can see the eyes. This is like the best part. So that's Primal Lip Liner. And these are smudge proof. Um, I need to make a video. This is this is like a watermelon pinkish reddish color, I think. I don't think I'm gonna use a brush for this, only because they're dirty. Oh wait. Where's my lip brush? probably lost that too okay so you want to wipe off this is a liquid lipstick you want to wipe off the excess or use a brush yeah it's definitely more of a pinker tone I'm just gonna dab it on only because you need a little bit Holy cow, that looks orange. Oh, I forgot I even did the rest of my face. I couldn't say that with drugstore foundations. I don't buy drugstore foundations anymore. I actually gave them all away to make room for my new makeup. Okay, so my idea... is to take some of that um, pigment, which I lost already. Why? Why? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to take some of that and just get a little bit on my finger. Well, <gasps> ooh, there's a rainbow. Oh, you guys, there's a rainbow in my lid. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger, like that. And do this before it dries. Probably 
probably shouldn't have stuck my finger in the lid. Oh, I'll just put it in my hand. How about that? You can kind of really can't tell. Just to give it a different look. Like an ombre look. Just something fun to try. Um... It changes the color a little bit, but I'm only doing it like in this part right here in the center. So, I like it. I love it. I actually think I can do this look color. I think if my hair was did, done, did, I think it would look nice. Okay, so that makeup wipe, I only cut off like a little chunk, and I'm glad I did because that's all I needed for today. Okay, I think that's it. Did I do the, all my makeup? I got eyeliner, the brow bone, mascara. Brow bone, I always forget. Okay, so that is the look. I'll be taking pictures. Thank God it's still daylight because I hate when it's dark. So I use the window. Um, for pictures. Okay, so, um, six pigments, which there's a lot to choose from still, um, for $59, plus you get a free, um, liner shader brush, which is the one I used. It has an angle brush, which you can use for your eyebrows. You can use it, um, to put on your eyeliner on top, which sometimes I do because I hate winged eyeliner. Uh, well, using liquid because I suck at it. Um, so the brush is free, and it is a 36% savings, which I think is like 34 or $36 um, that you save. And once these pigments are gone, they are gone. Oh, and the liquid lipstick I used is called Stubborn, which I believe is a new shade, and I don't think you can get your hands on it, because it was last month's Kudos, and it was only a Kudos bundle deal. So that is it. I definitely think I'm going to rock these lips today. Let me let me take down my hair. See what it looks like. Which I just threw it up after my shower. I'm too close cleaning. Oh, and thanks, Judy. So, what should I do with the hair? Should I straighten it? Should I curl it? Oh, yeah. I definitely think I can rock this definitely because I rock anything because I do not care what other people think which you should never oh I do have a blue lipstick curl I think I will curl it I have time I think okay so I'm gonna curl my hair take pictures and stay tuned for that don't forget about my um, group that I have my page um, I also do Instagram um, I definitely someday want to get videos up on YouTube, so, alrighty, so I will post a link below so you can get your hands on these pigments if you want them, um, let me just show you, oop, trying to see, let me just turn the camera around. Okay, focus. Oh no, it's not focusing. Okay, so those are the pigments. There's more in there. I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh, there we go. So there's so many colors to choose from. They are my favorite. And like I said, once they're gone, they're gone. Alright, so I'm going to go curl my hair, take pictures.
of those crazy lashes and stay tuned for the pictures okay guys thanks for watching